Hey, good morning, everybody. It's early morning. It's LA. How are you? It's a 6.30 edition. Boy, what a 24 hours it's been. On the video right before this, I went over the shocking developments of the Cash Act 2020. That's the bill that passed the House last night that does more than just a $2,000 stimulus check. It gives a retroactive stimulus check as well. It gives adult dependents a stimulus check as well. It gives an $8,000 stimulus check for adults for the entire family of four. My goodness. But in this video, I'm going to go over what's in the second stimulus package. It has nothing to do with the Cash Act. The Cash Act did not change the second stimulus package. That is what the President signed on Sunday. There's incredible great stuff in there. I'm going to go over the routing times, how you get it, how you apply for it, who gets it, and when what happened. So much breaking across the board. I'm so glad you joined me on the 6.30 edition of Early Mornings Hour Light. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's early morning to LA. The toast is toasted, the butter is butter, and I'm here, you're here, and boy, what a 24 hours it has been. My goodness. Uh, if you've not subscribed, please do, because no one's breaking things around the clock nor going to the details like I am. This is now a 24-hour news channel, the only one out there, and delivering your reporting from 1 a.m. to 1 a.m. the next day, and thank you for helping Overnight to LA to really get up, pick up speed. Uh, the videos are doubling in, in viewership day after day, so boy, early before the show um, on at 1 a.m. was overnight LLA's EIDL show. And then after that was PUA at 2 a.m. They're great shows because if you're ready to get an EIDL grant in January, under third stimulus check and third stimulus package under Biden, you need to watch those videos so you get used to how to apply for an EIDL. They're help, self-help videos. They're very, very helpful. The next one after that was about PUA, how to get ready for PUA applications, FPUC. A lot of you have never had FPUC, so this is all really helpful for you as well. And in the video right before this, boy, I went over that cash hack. That's just all shocking stuff, so please subscribe. I don't want you to miss anything on this channel. Subscribe and go to the Funnish channel and hit the alert button. Uh, I want to make sure you're part of this incredible journey. 80 million views this channel surpassed yesterday in eight months. What a run it's been. Uh, meantime, um, one thing I want to make a comment to is that sometimes in the early morning shows, there's some spammers that jump into the comments telling you to do Bitcoin things and go into their WhatsApp and go into on Instagram. If they're into this video uh, or the video right before this, report them and block them and send me a DM if they're in there. I usually track them and get them blocked, but they seem to filter into the early morning to overnight shows. So boy, I like this video as well. Meantime, this is an instant premiere and over there is an instant, it's a super chat. And you can chat with your profile buddies, um, interact, talk about what you think about this CARES Act, this Cash Act 2020. It's really exciting. So much development. So thank you for joining me on Early Mornings LA. And now with that, Let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news is that the second stimulus package deal that became a law on Sunday has incredible stuff in it for you. In this video, I'm going to go over your check, when you're going to get it. I'm going to go over all the provisions, how do you qualify, those and more. And this is, of course, where the law is today. This is despite what may happen in the Cash Act, which could take days, if not weeks, to become a law, if it ever does. All right, so the second stimulus package is giving a $600 stimulus check to individuals who made $75,000 or less 2019 earnings. If you're a married couple, then a, a double that check if you made less than $150,000 as a married couple. Very simple. Children would also get $600 as a stimulus check. The There is no stimulus check under the second stimulus package for adult dependents. If you're on SSI and SSDI, you would get a stimulus check if you're not an adult dependent. An adult dependent means you appear on someone else's tax return. The stimulus check would land your bank account presumably about 10 days from yesterday. The check is has a routing time of about 10 days for electronic receipt. If you receive payments from SSI, SSDI, Social Security, or Railroad benefits electronically, all very simple. Uh, if you pay the IRS electronically. And if you don't and everything is paper check, then add additional week. The IRS has made very clear going into this, going into the second stimulus and I've been reporting since July 
that the window to tell them stuff is closed. So if you have a change in your life or a change in the routing of number of the bank account or anything has changed, it's too late. They're going to go off of what they know and you can't update them. And so the answer for this is generally a no. Everything, every question I get is the answer is generally a no. So if the IRS doesn't know it, the answer is no. Can you change the account? No. Can you tell them you had a new child? No. Can you tell them you got divorced? No. Can you tell them uh, I I I um I have two more. I got have I adopted a kid? No. Can you tell? Them? No. It's just basically a big no. There's and this goes back to what I told you in July. I tell you things ahead of time for a purpose. This is my donut guy. I won the donut guy. I said. Do, this, the donut guy is the guy who holds the donut and says, just tell me when the check is in my bank account. Otherwise, I don't want to hear about it. Well, guess what? You're not going to get a check, Mr. Donut Guy, because the donut guy in the example was a person who was required to do a non-file filing. He didn't do it. Not going to get a single check. Iris doesn't know about that person. But that is the only thing that you need to be worried about. Okay, so what is else is in the second stimulus package? PUA and UI and FPUC are in there. And I get a lot of questions about inactive to active, active to inactive. Let me explain this right now. If you are inactive, your state will switch you to active. People are always saying, why am I still inactive? Because it takes time. Well, how long is it going to take time? It's going to take weeks. It's not going to take days. It's going to take weeks. Uh, well, what do I have to do? You need to go to your state's unemployment website daily. Just look at it daily. Also, if they have an alert system for email or text alert, go there daily. Well, when will I be able to certify benefits? You'll probably be able to certify for benefits as soon as they switch you from inactive to active. Um will you lose a week of benefits? Will you be cheated out of a week of benefits? No. So these are important things I want to go over right now. UI and PUA, well, actually PUC and PUA are extended under the second stimulus package all the way to March 14th of next year, along with a new round of FPUC starting now and going forward. So are you going to get, are you going to lose a week of payments? No. Absolutely not. You're not, you're not going to get cheated out of a week. But this is the big advice. You're going to get payments delayed. Your UI and your PUA may get delayed. We're, we're going to see this unfold over the next few weeks. But I'm predicting the last week of December, the first week of January, and the second week of January will get delayed. doesn't mean you're not going to get paid. Just they're going to come late. Uh, FPUC is going to also come late during that period of time. Next, do you have to do anything to get FPUC? No, it's automatic on top of your UI and PUA. Very, very easy. Uh, and then people say, well, how about retroactive FPUC? That's third stimulus check. Third stimulus package every day on Afternoons LA. All right, what else is in there? There's a lot of great stuff in there. First, there's money in there for the farmers and the ranchers. They will get a... Um, a, 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 their own additional stimulus. It is unclear if it's a stimulus check or if it is a EIDL grant, which they got before. It's all really great. I presume you're going to have to apply for it. The language looks like you have to apply for it. What else? Uh, eviction moratorium is extended. Eviction moratorium is extended uh, under CDC to late January. It's not a normal eviction moratorium. It's the current one where uh, you fill out paperwork from CDC and you give it to your landlord. You don't have to do it again, um, but you do have to do the paperwork. So it's not something you don't do nothing about. Uh, rent is in there as well. So this is going to be a lot of money. The, the rent is going to go for the federal government to the state and the local, and you're going to go apply for it. Yeah, <laughs> this is purple. This is purple. So if you went to your county of Louisville, Kentucky, there's no rent in Louisville, Kentucky. Well, there will be now. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. How soon? How do you apply? I'm going to go over that in a second later in this video. Next, um, there is a series of items in the bill that apply to low-income families. These are items whose eligibility is low-income families. What is low-income? It's generally about $49,000 individual 2019 earnings. Uh, what are the items? One, free internet, or as they list it as free broadband. Second, child support. Third, free child support. Third, free rent, which I just went over. Uh, ad additionally, free utilities. And then other things like food. Um, meantime, there's an automatic increase of your SNAP benefits by 15%. Automatic. So you don't have to do anything for it. Um, and... It would not increase the eligibility of SNAP. It would just be automatic. 
boy, there's so much in this bill, and it's so exciting. EIDL grant is back, but only for the inner cities. As I've been reporting, I think you're going to hear a lot of fake narratives out there that, oh, you can sort of do this, the EIDL, and you can sort of do that, and then you do this, and then you get some money. I just don't think that's happening. <laughs> I just don't think that's happening. Um, it'll happen. Uh, under third stimulus. You're going to see all the beautiful EID on the third stimulus under Biden. You're not going to see Javita Carranza rolling over giving you $10,000. Just not going to. She never did it before. She's never going to do it now. Um, PPP is back. I will be doing PPP videos because you asked them for them. So it's like April 25th all over again. This channel turned uh, eight months old on Christmas Day. 80 million views in eight months. Boy, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe because there's a reason why this channel's growing exponentially. It's because no one does uh, no one does what this channel does as a family. We're, we're an incredible family here. Uh, next, um, let me go over in the second stimulus package routing times. This is a big issue. What comes first? What comes second? What's slow? What's fast? Of the things that I think are the fastest, I think the SNAP is going to be the fastest. I really do. I think the SNAP could just be in a couple of days. I mean, why is, there should be no delay for SNAP. It's a federal, it, 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 you know, it just sounds, it just sounds like it's, it's just something that we just flow right into it. They just fund it and it would go automatically. That's the, the, the next fastest, of course, if it's not SNAP, is the stimulus check. 10 days, as I told you, or additional week for paper checks. After that, what's the next thing you would get? I believe the next thing you would get is probably the unemployment, but it's going to be delayed. I think it's at least middle January to at least February. I think it's going to get delayed. That's the, the new weeks of PUA, UI, and the FPUC. What else? Uh, the farmer's money may come really quickly, especially if it's SBA. SBA does things literally overnight. So they could open up that application like this week, and then you can go apply. Well, it is the holidays coming up, but uh, you know, the New Year's Eve, but it could open up right away, and then you apply, and then you can fund it. It could be very quickly for the farmers. I think things like rent, I <laughs> just every time I say, I just, I just, I have a visual of rent just taking two months. I just, I just, I just think it's going to be very slow. Rent is going to be slow. Broadband is going to be the joke of slow. It's like, how long does it take for, an, for a broadband company, you know, for the telephone company to come out your house? Two months? I just, you know, just assume that and add, you know, a thousand years on top of it. I just expect it to be very slow broadband. I expect it to be the slowest thing in here. Uh, PPP. Um, just as fast as it was before. So no prediction, no changes there. And wow, I mean, there you go. So um, I fully expect a lot of confusion. I fully expect a lot of questions. What I want you to understand is the following. Nothing that I've talked about in this video has an online application that's open for you to apply for that does that didn't exist before. So uh, I know this is going to be someone say, how do I go get the broadband? Can you send me the link to go apply for the broadband? There is no website. It, uh, yeah, it, <laughs> I used to say there's no law. There is a law now. So I can't use that. I can't use that line anymore. This is a nice way to sort of avoid answering the question. It's not law yet. Well, it's not law. Okay, so dude, it's law now. So send me the darn link. There is no link. Uh, all these things will have a link. All these things will have an application. Those things are just not live yet. Um, there's, you know, PPP is not live yet. Um, all these things are not live yet. And ultimately, if you see the link before I do, send me a DM. Uh, SBA.gov, I even checked yesterday. I went through the EIDL loan. It's not the grant, it's the loan. I went through it where, you know, you put in, you know, words and words and words till you get to the last page. So like, the last page is where it shows you if it's a grant. I was like, ah, it's not a grant still. So I, I will tell you when they're live. But for now, no need to send me you know, a DM. Hey, can you send me a link? Because there is no link. Uh, it, it's a great day. And I really appreciate your patronage. I love everyone that tuned in yesterday. Asked yesterday for the day after the, the announcement of the bill signing was a blockbuster on this channel. So I really appreciate the new spirit of the viewership of this channel. If you're new to this channel, thank you for joining. If you haven't told other people to join, tell them to come on over. Come on over because it's the best darn channel out there. I almost cursed. And as always, see you next on Morning to LA. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, stay in my life for more.